Hi, Stephen T. here from Martial Art World. I'm standing here with Sifu Norman Chin of Southern Praying Mantis. Welcome to Martial Art World. Hi. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the origins of Southern Mantis. Uh, Southern Mantis is basically a fairly new system. It's about 350 years old. And um, it was first started by a monk called uh, Samtat. And it's in the province of Huangsai in China. And um, he wasn't particularly happy with some of the martial arts that he was learning. So basically the story is that he went out of the temple after having lost a few fights and uh, he felt badly about it. So um, while he was in the forest meditating in the bamboo forest, that's why it's called Huangsai Chuklamji. So it's in the uh, bamboo forest of uh, Huangsai. And what he did was he observed a uh, praying mantis, and believe it or not, our legend is that he was fighting against a bird. And the mantis was able to uh, fight off the bird, and uh, by observing their moves, uh, Samtat was able to come up with this totally new system. Oh. And um, from there on, it was taught to uh, a lazy and see which is another monk or abbot, and it was handed down to a uh, Chung Yu Chung who taught to our Grand Master, which is Lam Sang. Uh, from there, it moved into the United States in the late 1950s. So basically, our system is fairly new. It's, it's not very well known in the United States. And um, for all of you martial arts enthusiasts out there, um, you might know that uh, Master Jin Fun Mark does teach his system in Minnesota. And however, he was a master here in New York back in 19... Uh, probably about the 70s. He left here in the early 70s to teach in Minnesota. Now, tell me, uh, I see the uniqueness of Southern Mantis. Can you tell us some of the differences between the Northern and the Southern frame Mantis systems as you see it? Uh, basic, the basic difference is that the Northern Mantis is uh, a long hand. They, they, they're fairly elaborate and very, um, I would say, intricate in terms of the fighting technique. They're, they'll advance, they'll attack, they'll jump, they'll leap, they have a lot of sweeps, a lot of uh, leg moves. Uh, Southern Mantis is more stable in the sense that um, we don't jump around as much. Our hand techniques are fairly quick and our foot techniques are um, I would say a little more subtle and we don't kick above the waist so basically if we encounter uh, another combatant or another stylist uh, basically we guard our top half of the body okay and uh, we normally block just with the bottom half of our foot so we don't really jump up and down a lot um, so those are the kind of basic differences. So training in Southern Mantis uh, consists of what? Forms, sticky hands? Uh, basically, the, basically the Mantis system, we, we start from the top down. We we'll work from our hands uh, to your forearms, to your biceps, and then we we'll work down to our stances. Um, we have a, a primary set called Sambu gene, which works all the fingers, um, the forearms, and the shoulders. And um, the hand speed, Southern Mass is pretty quick in hand speed. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do a lot of chi saw, which is sticky hands. And uh, when the students get more advanced, they can practically practice blindfolded. But that's for the advanced students. And um, that is as long as the opponent touches you. Right. Okay. Should they leave, then we would, we would disengage yourself. Um, in our school, we basically start with uh, Sambu Jin, which is a basic form. Uh, after that, we would do what they call two-man set. It's a breakdown where, where you interpret all the moves and it goes into a um, choreographed set. So this way you get the feeling of the hands and hand speed, and you get the kicking and the uh, movement of all your stances. One of the unique techniques of praying mantis is the phoenix eye. Uh, basically, our concept is that instead of a punch, which spreads out the power upon impact, uh, we use the phoenix eye, which is, you can compare it between a sledgehammer and an ice pick. So by using a phoenix eye and using fingers, we have a concentrated power 
and uh, concentrated force. Right. Now, now I notice in sticky hands training, um, people are controlling the power. Do you also uh, do freestyle or sparring with this? It sounds very um, easy. Yes. Yeah, she so basically now is, as you can see in the background, some of the students are practicing, is that um, they, during the time of practice, they must stick because you begin to feel the opponent, to feel when his power emanates. It, it's, it's, you might say, comparable to a Tai Chi push hands. Um, it's not something where you strike out and you do a one, two, three block. It's, you're constantly on the opponent, touching, feeling, and generating power. And also our power is what they call um, yum, which is the yin. It's the yin power. Uh, yang power is more of your direct power. That's your ki. -ai. That's your scream when you hit someone. Mm -hmm. When we strike, it's, 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 it's very quiet. And you take the totality of your energy from your one point. So your sticking hands practice is not concerned with issuing power. It's concerned mainly with sticking. It's been concerned with sticking as well as emanating. Because what we do is that, for instance, if a person touches your hand, from softness will emanate the power, will generate the energy. So although it looks like they're not using much strength right now, it is a lot of power. You can get very tired just doing this in, in a short time. Uh -huh. Yeah, one more thing for our viewers at home. Where is the school located? Oh, our school is located on uh, 440 Lafayette Street, and we're on the fourth floor. Presently, we're only teaching Monday and Thursdays uh, from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. Okay, thank you, Steve